hello welcome to Wolf Lake TV thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos if you're new to my channel uh, please hit the subscribe button uh, the one down there uh, it says subscribe when you click it if you're subscribed whenever you sign into your YouTube you will see that it says subscribe um, but if you haven't please go ahead and hit the subscribe button all you have to do is just log in into your Gmail account or just sign in when you're on YouTube and then hit the subscribe so that whenever my videos uh, drop you will get notification but make sure to turn on uh, notification like turn notification on because if you don't then you might not get like direct alert from YouTube when my videos uh, posted all right uh, thank you so much for willing to do this for me yesterday i did a live video within the greek out lottery africa group if you're not a part of it please join that group because if you're looking to you know take part of a diva lottery or you have already uh taken part and you're waiting on updates on what will happen what next to do and all that you should join our group so that you get update and feedback. Join Greek Card Lottery USA, uh, Zambia. That is also an awesome group. It's not limited to just Zambians. Uh, so anybody, wherever you come from, you can join Greek Card Lottery Africa, Greek Card Lottery Ghana, Greek Card Lottery USA, uh, Zambia. Uh, you can join any of those groups so that you can get multiple sources of information uh today the subject that i wanted to talk about and share with you guys will be um green card lottery and marriage scam all right so uh with a green card lottery when you apply uh it asks you to uh disclose your marital status and you have to tell them whether you're married or not if you're separated um, if it's not legal, then you need to put that information. If you're divorced, if you're widowed, all that information has to be declared at the time of submission. And um, but it also gives you a pathway to uh, you know add your spouse if you got married after the submission. So you submitted your application and after that you got married because hey, they're not expecting you to put your life on hold. But if you get married after you have submitted your entry then you can add your uh your spouse to the new uh your ds2cc application if you had a child after you have submitted your application then you can also add them on there and that is the purpose uh for um you them giving you that path to add new family members all right um so um why is there a marriage scam um, when it comes to greek card well marriage scam happens when people who are not actually in the marriage for marriage sake but they get into a marriage just for the purpose of the visa all right uh according to the u.s immigration law it is illegal it is considered they call it marriage they call it sham marriages Sham marriages. You can Google this and read on that. Sham marriages um, is basically when you get into marriage for uh, U.S. immigration benefits, whether to get a U.S. visa or to get a, a green card or to get U.S. citizenship. If you are getting, if the main purpose of you getting married was for this, then it's a scam. It's a fraud and it's a sham marriage. Um, the reason why you need to be very careful about this, um, if you're going to get married right after submission, then you need to ask yourself, or am I getting married so that this person can get a visa? Is that the main reason why I'm getting married to this person? If there was no visa application there, if there was no chance of me to get, uh, there was no chance of me uh, to get an American visa would I have married this person would I have now right now at this moment would I be getting married to this person if it wasn't for an American visa if you answer no then know that you can run into problems and the problems that you can run into is that when you go for the DV lottery interview they're going to ask you you know the normal basic questions for DV lottery uh, visa applicants but if you're married they want to also make sure that your marriage is genuine is uh, and when they say genuine it's not just having a marriage certificate it's not just having a wedding they want to know that you people have been married or were married 
for the sake of love, for the sake of, you know, this union or partnership, that has nothing to do with the lottery. That is all they want to know. So you don't have to, you know, if you never got, uh, did a wedding or you never, you know, had those kind of big wed, uh, marriage ceremonies, it's okay. That doesn't mean that your marriage is fake, but for the embassy, they want to make sure that you are married to somebody that you truly wanted to be married to it's not because of the visa they want to know that you got married uh just for love or whatever reason that you got married uh for it has nothing to do with the visa it has nothing to do with immigration all right so long as you can meet this requirement because oftentimes there are a lot of people who get selected for the dv lottery and they don't get their visa and one of the biggest reasons are you know this this type of uh sham marriages so please don't create complicated issue for yourself if you're not married don't go and quickly get married because the thing that you can do is that when you come to the united states and after you get your green card you can always go back and get married and bring your spouse to the united states all right that is something that you can always do when you have your green card when you become a citizen you can bring your spouse you can bring your children you can bring um, um your closest you know family members to the united states so why do you want to rush and get so greedy to just go and pair up with somebody to get them green card why do you want to do that so please don't put yourself in such situations and i know that there are people who uh when they get when they apply for the green card lottery uh for uh by some agent like some people apply for them and then the person put that they're married to this and they're married to whoever yeah. please don't put yourself in that situation that's why i advocate for people to do it yourself at least when you fill out the dv lottery application yourself you know what you put there you know you're single so you put there on married if you let somebody to fill it out for you like an agent and you don't tell them um uh that hey don't i'm not married don't put me with anybody who's who is married and then the person goes in to put that you're married you could run into problems i know that when you go for the interview and you are able to answer all of your questions so let's say you you know you meet the education requirement you are able to answer your questions everything fine but they sent you know field investigators to go to uh, investigate uh immigration or visa marriages all right so if you're the greek lottery applicant and you say you're married they could send somebody to your town they could send somebody to your your spouse's workplace or your workplace they can you know and they also have your social media uh, information so they can do all this research before you even uh come to the interview remember the ds260 application they ask for all of this information they ask for your parents name so they have all this information to do their background investigation about you so by the time that you come for the interview they may already have all that they need all right for some people they may send somebody maybe after your interview but for the most part they have every single information that they need to find out more information about you so please don't put yourself in a fraudulent situation uh, whether intentionally or unintentionally and then run the risk of getting barred from the united states because if you let some agent pair you with somebody that you're ma not married with and then you go for the interview and you're denied based on the fact that they think that you're trying to commit marriage fraud you can be blacklisted by the embassy and then the next time you apply for a visa because remember when you tarnish your reputation one time oh you are going to get a lot of denial because when you tarnish your reputation so the first time you came and lied about who you were married to another time you apply for another visa now you're saying oh uh now i want to come clean no 
they are not going to give you the visa that time you may have to do multiple times for them to see that okay now your story is consistent before they will even give you the opportunity okay so please don't put yourself in that situation if you're married always declare that you're married because um if you don't declare it and later you come to your nice and you want to go bring your wife and it might be an issue but hey that will be a discussion for another day maybe you can get a lawyer uh who can help you with that part but for now please do be honest in your submission if you're not married don't say the fact that you have a child with somebody doesn't mean that they are your spouse unless in your country there's you know common law marriages where if you've lived with somebody for so many years everybody sees them as your wife everybody feels that they are your wife in some places that is really your wife even though you may not have a marriage certificate um, but if it's common law marriages where you know you live with somebody for so many years and everybody thinks they are your wife you treat them as your wife then the law says that well then you that's the, the person is your wife if that is that situation but please just make sure that you are doing the right thing if you have any questions you can always ask ask before you do it if you th if you if uh, a situation gives you a pause if you are questioning whether is this legal is this right could this get me in trouble please ask somebody ask in before you commit yourself you do something that you will regret later all right so this is where i wanted to end my videos uh you can join my group as i mentioned in the beginning of the video join greek out africa greek out ghana greek out usa that's zambia you can join any of those groups uh, like join all of them because there's no membership fee uh, so that you can get updates about the DV lottery or green card lottery process uh, it will be opening in October this year we don't have the specific date yet but when it comes I was sure to you know make that announcement in the group we will even be having like an online you know like live video you know uh, making people aware announcement for people to know that hey it's open and when it's time for people to go check their status too for those who applied last year uh, we will definitely make the announcement so that you are not going to miss it so that's why you need to subscribe to this channel subscribe and then join uh, the group so that you will be updated on uh, what's going on with the process i love you guys thank you for the support your kindness it has been more than i could ever imagine i love you subscribe subscribe share with your family and i'll see you guys on my next video bye bye